everybody. So, um, this is my third attempt at making this video. The first time, um, I accidentally hit the power button and stopped the recording on my phone. The second time, the bad, the, the storage space ran out and I didn't even notice. So halfway through the video, I realized I was talking and it wasn't even recording. Um, so we'll give this another shot. I will say at the beginning of my video, because I don't want anybody to watch a portion of it and then think, oh, I'm going to comment, and they honestly should have just waited till the end of the video, but this isn't one of those instances. This is a please do not instance. Please do not comment on my video telling me that my Guardian is not the same thing as this Electrolux. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that this is made by Eureka. I know that this is a faux Electrolux that has just been rebranded and heavily priced. And I know that this is a real Electrolux. It's the Guardian 75th Anniversary Edition. It has a brand new bag in it. I just did this too. Oh God. You can see though that the, the hose on both of these machines are very similar um, and in terms of like the way that they design them. Come on. Okay. You can see they are very similar in design. They're both very big, chunky ends. And this is a big, chunky end as well. So they're both very similar. Though the Guardian is much easier to detach compared to this one. This one does not like to come off. And I don't store these with the hoses attached to them either. Because the Guardian is like a freaking Basset Hound. Way too big to be practical. But you know what? I have a single-story home, so it's not like... It's a big deal. So, the Electrolux Guardian has a brand new bag in it. You can see, brand new. There's no powder in it, nothing of the sort. It's a brand new bag, completely flat, new, okay? Um, the woman just had this, re um, or she had it serviced. It has a new hose on it. I do not know if this is just a generic colored um, button, but the hose on this is blue. The main machine is gray. All these accents would be blue if it was that blue model. So, but it does have a new hose. Um, I wish I could sh shine some light in there a little bit more easily, but there's no dirt on it. It's a very in good shape hose. Um, these look like corn on the cob holder things. And I will plug this in, and you can see even the inlet, there's just that little piece of dirt right there, but it's very clean. It's a very clean vacuum, um, and I'll pop that on there. It's very loud. That's the one thing I do not like about this vacuum. It is extremely large, and it's extremely loud. Now, the two similarities between these Electroluxes, and I do think that this is a purposeful styling cue, um, it has a handle underneath here. The Electrolux Ultra Silencer has a handle underneath there as well. It has an upper handle right here, and the Ultra Silencer has an upper handle as well. Um, now, the nice thing about the Ultra Silencer, though, is you do have a on-the-body machine air, purif or air purifier, geez, I'm thinking of my rainbow, um, power switch. Though it will not run, it'll flash red somewhere in here when... Um, this is not discon or when it's not connected, it'll turn on for a split second and then it'll know and it'll shut off. So it won't let you use it. Um, now this has onboard tool storage, as you can see. Um, I don't understand. Oh, that's why <laughs> I didn't realize that came out of there. So, um, again, it's pretty clean. Um, I don't understand why they made the machine so large if obviously they didn't have to. It looks like there's like a hall in here of some kind, but the machine is extremely loud when the air is flowing through. Did I put that on wrong? Okay. Okay. All right. This is being fussy. There. Just got to break it a little. No. Um, so that's not closing. <laughs> I must not have it on right. Come on. Come on. All righty. Give this another try. Ugh. Come on. 
This thing is going to wish it didn't put up a fight with me. There! Look at that! Freaking amazing. Okay, so I got it figured out. Um, it has a new HEPA filter on it. She said to me, and I believe her because it's impeccably clean, um, that she actually had this thing redone, um, but she ended up buying something else. It was too much of a hassle for her to use anymore, and she realized that once she had this overhauled, they gave her something else to use. I think it was an upright, she said, and it just ended up being so much easier for her to handle. And I personally believe her. Um, this thing is a beast. Like I said, it's like the size of a, a freaking Basset Hound coffee table. It weigh, It's like a freaking nuclear missile. Looks like one. Um, and the Ultra Silencer is much smaller, um, and it really utilizes a lot of its space um, differently. And the bags on the Electroluxes are actually quite small. So, um, on the Guardians. These are small as well, and I'll show you that this does not have a new bag. This is kind of what I was showing before the video cut out. Um, the bags are much smaller on this, and it is not a clean bag, as you can see. There's a lot of hair in there, but, um... The, uh, what the Electrolux tends to do, the Ultra Silencer, I should probably start giving specific because they're both Electroluxes. So again, please do not comment and say that, you know, it's not a real Electrolux. <laughs> they were bought, blah, blah. Okay. Um, and, you know, you can express your opinion, but this video is really something to look at. And if you want to talk about longevity, I've had this thing for a little over a year now. Nothing's broken on it. It's honestly built very well okay built very well um this just came unclipped but i wanted to show this to you guys anyway um this is the pre-motor filter i've never ever changed it ever and you can see it's just as white as it should be very white it's actually whiter than the power nozzle of the um guardian it's actually whiter than the bag it's very clean. The whole inside of this vacuum is very clean. Um, and it also has a seal all around the outer perimeter. It's very Mila related. It did not go after Electrolux's real Eris machines, but it did go after Mila. And you can see, though, even though there's hair and such in there, the bottom of the bag actually has nothing on it because it tends to wrap the dirt and everything to the sides and leaves the center open. Um, and you can see that, I mean, this is all dust, hair, and dirt in there. So I'm going to put the bag back in. So this is a sound shield, it says, but it's also kind of nice because um, it's it makes it easier to use. It tells you your S bag. It tells you exactly how you can actually carry this over to the dirt if you don't want to touch, or your um, trash can, if you don't want to touch the bag. So, I'm going to close that up. Um, now, the Guardian works as it should, 100%. I'll show you that. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this video, it's an airflow test. Um, and I'll show you that. So, this is on full power. As you can see. This is low power. It doesn't really, it'll still stick to your hand. Obviously higher power, really gonna stick to your hand. So we're gonna turn that off. Now the Electrolux is not rigged up. I'm gonna put this on full power just like you would to vacuum your carpets. Um, as you can see, it's all attached and I have my Coke box here. This is, um, As you can see, it will also stick to your hand very well. And the reason why I'm actually going to leave this here 
in the um, in this position is because the Electrolux doesn't like to stand on its own because the hose is so heavy and this leans so far forward it doesn't like to stand. I don't know why but it just does not like to stand. So I'm going to turn the Electrolux on and the idea of this is, and I'm not going to turn the brush roll on, as you can see, that's the brush roll on. I can put it on any carpet setting. Right now I have it on high, I think. That's low, as you can see. So I don't think it actually helps at all. I think it actually makes it worse on high. So that's on high. So that squeaking sound was the air <laughs> trying to squeeze out the front of the Coke box. So I'll leave it on the high setting. Or actually, I'll put it on the low setting. That's low. And we will turn the Electrolux on, the Guardian, and we will see if it can pull the Coke box away from the um, Ultra Silencer. Now, I have it on the lowest setting because the Electrolux doesn't really have a height adjustment. It just kind of sits on the carpet. And I will, I will try the different settings as well. So, it's on, full power. As you can see, it cannot pull the box away from the Ultra Silencer. Okay? We will kick it up a notch. It cannot pull the box away from the Ultra Silencer. We'll put it on the highest setting. makes no difference. It cannot pull the box away. Now, if I turn the Ultra Silencer off, it is off now. Didn't do anything to this. I don't know why it doesn't want to pick it up. Here, let's try it now. Now it has the box a little bit better. You can see it'll hold on to the box, but it can't take it away from the Ultra Silencer. All right? That is why I prefer my Ultra Silencer over this. I know that um, the... Guardian is obviously probably about 10 years older, 10, 12 years older than the um, Ultra Silencer is, but it's a smaller machine, um, and Electrolux, or the Aris design, has not changed. They have just upgraded things. They have not changed their power nozzle designs, maybe their brushes and stuff like that, maybe the motors in it, but all the designs are the same. I didn't have the brush roll on because that's not going to change the airflow of the vacuum. If anything, it's actually going to pull it closer to the carpet, and it's actually going to perform worse in terms of pulling the box. Um, so the results speak for itself, and I had my Auric here because I wanted to show that um, I think that the Auric can probably take the box away from the Guardian, too. I can't leave the... Um, I'm going to set this, uh, how am I going to set this? I'm going to push that up a little bit. Oh, that's going to leave it. Okay, so here we go. The Electrolux's head is all the way on the ground, as you can see. We'll turn it on. The box is stuck to it. Apparently it can't pull it away, but you know, it's also clean air versus a dirty fan or dirty air machine if you want to call it that. But the Oric will grab on to the Coke box and you can't jiggle it loose, which I could with the Electrolux, and you saw that. Um, when I had the Electrolux, it would let go of it at times, the Oric does not. 